Construction number 22, the ortho center of a triangle. So I start with taking my compass and adjusting it so that it is to the length of BC. From here, I draw an arc with the compass point on B through AB. I change my compass point so that it's on C, keeping the compass at the same width, and I draw an arc through AC. That gives me two points. Let's call them D and E. Next, I take my compass, I place it back on B again. I adjust it so that it's greater than half the width between B and D. I draw an arc outside my triangle. I put the compass point on D this time. I make sure I keep the width the same. And I draw an arc that intersects that initial arc. Let's call this point F. I do the same between E and C. Doing the same between E and F. I put my compass point on C. I draw an arc outside my triangle. I put my compass point on E and draw another arc outside my triangle. Let's call this point G. I join F to C. And what I get is a right angle here at AB. And this line from C to AB is what's known as an altitude of the triangle. Again, I join B to G. This forms a right angle with AC. And again, the point B to AC is an altitude. And the point at which these two altitudes meet, let's call it O, is the orthocenter of this triangle.